Hi everyone, I'm Miss Bailey and I'm with the Boys and Girls Club of Metro Los Angeles. Welcome to DIY STEM and in today's STEM activity we will be making our very own crystals. Now do you know what a crystal is? Any ideas? Well, crystals are when atoms and molecules neatly arrange themselves into these really cool patterns. They usually look like boxes or rectangles. And believe it or not, we have some crystals right in our kitchen. Can you guess what two things in our kitchen could be crystals? If you said salt and sugar, that's right. Those are two forms of everyday crystals and we'll be using sugar for our crystals in this experiment. But there are also more rare and valuable types of crystals too, like emeralds, diamonds, and even rubies. Now, I'll help you set up this experiment, scientists, and this experiment can actually take over the course of a few days, if not even a few weeks. So we're gonna set this experiment up together. And after you set it up, I really encourage you to take pictures of your crystal every day and measure how long it is once it's fully grown. And I'll give you some tips on how to make this experiment even bigger and better. For today's experiment, you'll need a half cup measuring cup, some sugar, food dye or flavoring, this is optional. You need a glass jar. I have this glass jar with cup measurements on it, which is awesome. I have string here, but I end up not using the string, so don't worry about that. And a chopstick or a wooden stirrer stick like I have here today and some way to boil water. That could be on the stove, in the microwave, and today I'm using an electric tea kettle. Our first step is to boil water. I'm using an electric tea kettle today, but please, no matter how you are boiling your water, ask an adult for help, especially if you are using a stove. So now I'm going to measure one cup into my glass jar, and my glass jar luckily has a one cup measurement line, so I'll go ahead and use that. Please be very, very careful when using boiling water. It can burn you. So please ask an adult for help for this step as well. So go ahead and pour in your boiling water. Next, I'm going to take my one cup measuring cup and measure about three cups of sugar and pour that into our cup of water. I say about because I end up using not a total of three cups because my cup would have overflowed and I would have made a big mess. But that's okay. And we have about three cups of sugar in our cup now. Now this is when you would add any like flavorings or food dyes if you want to make your crystal a certain color, but that's totally optional. Your sugar, your sugar crystal will still taste good even if it's just plain sugar. I'm using a fruit punch syrup. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take a spoon or a long stick of some kind and stir it until the sugar is dissolved. And that means you don't see any sugar crystals sitting on the bottom of the jar. You may need to stir your water and sugar mixture a few times today in order for it to fully dissolve, but that's okay. Once you've stirred your sugar into the water, just add a chopstick or a wooden stirring stick like I am. And that's how you set up this experiment. If you do see any sugar settling on the bottom again, like I did here, uh, go ahead and stir it a few times. And that's how you set up your sugar crystals. Now the tough part is waiting. You will have to wait about three to five days for your sugar crystals to start forming, but I really encourage you to check on it every day to see your crystals slowly take shape. Hi scientists, I hope you enjoyed setting up this experiment with me. Now like I mentioned earlier, it could take a few days, if not even a week, for your crystal to fully grow. And when you do, I really encourage you to take some data and measure how long your crystal is. And if you want to do this experiment again, make it bigger and better, change out the amount of sugar that you use. What happens if you use one cup of sugar or two cups of sugar or even half a cup of sugar? And if you do that experiment, measure to see how your crystals grow and if there's any difference. Alrighty, scientists, I'll see you next time.